actually Albuquerque and then over through Texas. But when we made the decision to drive Trenton's car, I decided to go north, well we have to go north obviously, to St. Louis to pick up the trailer, not the trailer, we're gonna put it on the open trailer, pick up some spare parts, fuel, wheels, tires, all that stuff. So that's the plan, that's the big secret. We are driving Trenton's car, I'm sorry, I'm driving Trenton's car. Um, so let's talk about that. For one, I'm not super comfortable with right-hand drive. I have driven right-hand drive, I know how to do it, but I'm not comfortable. So I think I'm probably like 65 or 70% of my regular skill level is my personal like estimate of, of, of how well I can do in a right-hand drive. It's definitely a handicap of about 30% for me. Um, so like in transitions or like, you know, those close tandems when you surge and handbrake and back on and off, that's what's gonna be uh, a slower reaction than normal. And, and, and all it takes is a split second to make the difference between winning a battle and losing a battle. Um, so I'm a little bit worried about that. I don't have any time to test it before practice. Uh, as it is, we're gonna get there like, like Thursday night. Um, I was hoping to like find somewhere to just drive the car around and just like get comfortable sitting in there even without drifting just, but it's not street legal. Um, I had some options, but we can't do that in the middle of the night. And so it's gonna be, it's not gonna work out very well. Another thing is uh, Trenton and I are very different in height. So his seating position uh, does not work for me. I've driven his car a couple times. I've actually driven his car at Freedom Factory on Drift Week and uh, I was not comfortable in it and I was afraid to get close to the wall on the bank. Luckily this isn't a bank track or else I probably would have told him no because I'm, I, I have experience not doing well in his car on the bank at Freedom Factory. But since this is just infield, I think there's a good possibility. So anyway, since my phone died earlier, I'm trying to finish my video. Uh, basically, I'm gonna drive that car. I'm gonna do the best I can. Uh, I'm feeling confident, but not overly confident, if that makes sense. In my other car, I'm sufficiently confident like I know the car I know I can drive it well in this car I don't have that right um, I'm confident in my abilities but I also know my limitations and uh, there will be limitations so uh, I'm really looking forward to this weekend I'm really looking forward to uh, uh, putting laps down in that car and uh, I really want to thank everybody who sent me messages Everybody who reached out, I really want to give a special shout out to Trenton for uh, letting me pick up his car and take it down there. Um, I'm also going to be using that car for the Riverside 50K. So uh, I really hope I get some good practice and get comfortable with it. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, we've had nothing but car problems. I haven't vlogged any of that stuff. Uh, I mean, truck problems. But we're just, uh, we're still six hours from. Uh, St. Louis and we're gonna crash out for the night and then uh, pick up the car tomorrow morning like 12 hours behind schedule but it is what it is let's go all right so in light of some recent events um, I was talking to Trenton about what was going on and uh, he said why don't you drive my JZX 90 it's a winning car and what I said <laughs> what I said is if it were a chaser or a Cresta I'd, I would love to but I'm not gonna go there you're not gonna go. I <laughs> I'm literally giving you an opportunity, a lifetime. Uh, so Trenton's car is two JZ, seven hundred horsepower, seven fifty, seven fifty without the nitrous. Uh, dog box, quick Figs. change, bigs, quick change, which is perfect for that track because the yep. gearing is always a little bit different. Rear mount rad. Um, I've driven it before. Mm -hmm. It's not a whole lot different than when I drove. Eh, a little it's bit. A lot different. Yeah. It's but it's the same angle kit. Yeah, same angle kit. So. I'm not an expert in right-hand drive, but either way, I really appreciate it. That saves my weekend. Um, in a really bad situation, there's sometimes light at the end of the tunnel, and I appreciate that. Thank you. If you scratch Mona, I'm on a plane ticket <laughs> right down there. Uh, so it's uh, it's clutch kickers, and then he's got St. Louis after that. So the car's got to it's got to survive. Which it's it's well built. It's a solid car. It's got all yeah. the right parts on it. And it, you just can't crash. And to the benefit of both of us, now you're coming to FD with me because you got to bring my car back That's to St. Right. Louis anyway. That's right. So now this That's is right. all working out. So I've got uh, two cars that I'm transporting for Trenton, and so now I'm going to stop in St. Louis and pick up his other car. You can pick up a whole fleet. It's of a my whole stuff. white plate trailer. It really is. <laughs> and then uh, and then. 
yeah, anyways, then we're going back up to St. Louis and then the Riverside and then St. Louis is the weekend after. It's going to be a wild trip, but shout out to White Plate. Trends always help me out. I'm, I was starting to think, what hasn't White Plate done for me? <laughs> I bought, I don't know how many cars from you. You've always hooked me up. I haven't done and... your laundry yet. Okay. That's, we'll that's off that the later. table. <laughs> yep. Yeah.